Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's video is going to be interesting to those people who study genetics, general biology, bioinformatics and computational biology. And here's the problem, identify the most conservative amino acid substitution, assuming that these two residues occur at the same position in two homologous proteins. And we have to choose between these couples of substitutions, leucine with different amino acids. Such substitutions would cause evolution. So what is evolution? Evolution is just a change in DNA sequence and thus in sequence of the uh, amino acids. If there is no change, then it means there is no evolution. First in this table, let's find leucine, which we are going to compare with other amino acids and it is here. Our second step would be to find such amino acid whose properties would be very close to the properties of the leucine and whose size of the R group is going to be also close to leucine. And as you see here in different colors, we designate uh, amino acids with similar properties. So for example, here on the top, we see amino acids whose R group is going to have positive charge and negative charge here. So we group together them as amino acids with electrically charged side chains. And here's another group, amino acid with polar uncharged side chains. Special cases, I will talk about them later. And here amino acids with hydrophobic side chains, which consist of only carbons and hydrogens with uh, some exceptions like in mesonium where we can find sulfur in the R group. And sometimes we also can find oxygen. But all these amino acids are grouped together because they have similar properties. They are hydrophobic. Backbone in each amino acid is the same as you see and only R chain specifies the properties of the amino acids. Now let me start with the end of this list, variant E, leucine and tryptophan. Here is our leucine and here is a tryptophan. And as you see, our groups are very different. Tryptophan, those being in the same category of uh, hydrophobic amino acids, our group is very big, much larger than in the leucine. So we can say that such substitution would destabilize protein sequence and is not very likely. Now let's check leucine and lysine and lysine is going to be amino acid with charge R group and of course properties are going to be very different. So such substitution is also unlikely and also would destabilize protein. So we cross out this variant. Now let's check variant C, leucine substitute with aspartic acid. Here is the backbone of this amino acid and here is the alpha carbon. So this dot represents alpha carbon and here we see in our group secondary carboxylic acid just like you see here in the backbone and it is negatively charged. This tells us that such substitution is also unlikely. Now let's check leucine and proline and proline we can find in this category of special cases. What is interesting about this amino acid that it is most rigid amino acids and some of you probably even do not see backbone here, but it is here. Here is a carboxylic acid group and here is the amino group and alpha carbon is being here. This is going to be our chain here which also, as you see, cycles on its amino group and it makes this amino acid the most rigid amino acids and of course properties are going to be very different from the properties of the leucine. You also can find in this category glycine which is going to be the most flexible amino acid. Here is a cysteine and cysteine has xyl group here which can uh, make covalent bond with another cysteine. So this is also special 
amino acid whose R group can make covalent bond with uh, the same amino acid whether in the same polypeptide chain or in the different polypeptide chain so stabilizing shapes of the proteins. Leucine and proline is going to be very unlikely substitution. And now let's check leucine and valine. Again, here's our leucine and here's a valine. And as you see, they're in the same category, which is good. And their R groups are very similar in their properties and in the size of the R group. So this is going to be our choice. One more time, when we are looking for substitutions, more likely they are going to happen within the O1 category and the size of the R group have to be similar. And for example, aspartic acid most likely would be substituted with glutamic acid because the properties are similar and size of the R group is also similar. But amino acid in this special class is not going to be substitute with each other because their properties are very, very different. They just put in this category because they do not fit any other category, but the properties are not similar. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.